It's an agent training school. They train the girls to be killing machines. Each girl has a doll on her desk. They take a pen and poke the doll. This is their special training. A girl picks up a doll. The instructor grabs the doll. He teaches the girls that killers can't have feelings. No the instructor tore up the doll and threw its body to the girls. The girls also had to train in boxing. The girl grew up in training, but this girl wanted a normal life. She snuck onto the internet to learn about high school life, and she's having fun. They had to go on a mission to capture a hit woman alive. The girl completed the mission with flying colors. The plane took the target and the girl up in the air, but the target caught the girl's rope. The girl fell out of the air and into the water. The girl came out of the water. She climbed to the shore. The contact watch given to her by the organization keeps beeping. The the girl hesitated. Finally, she threw it away. The instructors on the plane thought the girl was dead. The plane flew away from the girl's head. The girl is free. The girl named herself Megan. She found a host family. It's officially the beginning of her ordinary life. Megan went to school for the first time. She was dressed very strangely. She was laughed at by her classmates. Megan went on stage as a transfer student, but she was laughed at by her classmates. They're screaming for Megan to go back. Megan was helpless on stage. One day after class, a girl approached Megan. She told Megan Megan to apply to be the school mascot. She said it was the most popular show on campus. Megan was so grateful at the school athletic meet. Megan was the mascot, but then a group of men in black came out of nowhere. They tried to grab the mascot, but Megan knocked them all down. The men in black were no match for Megan. Megan pinned the man in black on the ground and questioned him. So this is the high school next door. It's a school tradition to catch the mascot every year. Megan realized she had been tricked. Megan got angry and left. When she got home, Megan was devastated. She was disappointed in the high school life she'd hoped for. Her homestay mom came to comfort her. The next day Megan came to school. All of her classmates applauded her. It turns out that the video of Megan's mascot had gone viral. Everyone called Megan. Vagina! Vagina! But Megan faked her own death to escape. She's famous which means she's been discovered by the Secret Service. Megan was captured by an instructor. She was tied to a chair. That instructor gave Megan a truth-telling potion. Megan said she didn't want to be an agent. I just want to be normal. The instructor was furious. He said that Megan and her family could be in danger, but the organization wouldn't help Megan in any way. He sent Megan home, and then Megan was in real danger. Someone shot at Megan's car. They were in a road chase. Megan told her sister she was an agent, and now she's being chased. Megan's car is cornered. She's about to collide with a car on the other side of the road. The car crashed into a guardrail. Her sister was hurt. Megan gets out of the car to check. She found out that whoever was after her was a member of the Secret Service. So at the hospital, hospital. Megan called her trainer and confronted him. The instructor said he hadn't sent anyone to kill Megan. The agent who killed Megan had escaped the organization. Megan wanted the trainer's help, but the trainer wouldn't let her. After the assassination, Megan's relationship with her sister changed for the better. Megan wanted to leave her host family. She didn't want her family to be in danger because of her, but her sister persuaded Megan. They became very good friends. They prepared for the party together. Megan showed her sister her secret agent gear, and she almost opened the grenade. They talked together on the rooftop. They were like real sisters. They went to a party together. The man who's after Megan has come to the party. They fought at the party. They went from the party to the hallway. The killer hit Megan in the eye with a powder. Megan hid in the kitchen. The killer was looking for Megan with a knife. Sister came into the kitchen. She stabbed the killer in the leg. Megan came out and knocked him out. She wasn't scared at all. She was even a bit excited. When they got home, they realized their family had been kidnapped. The killer threatened Megan with her family's lives. Megan provoked the killer, so she fought the killer. Her brother took the opportunity to pull out a grenade. The grenade exploded and the lights went out. The Secret Service is here. They took down the killer and rescued Megan's family. Megan hugged the instructor. The instructor gave Megan the keys to the helicopter, so Megan could go back to the party. But Megan drove the helicopter onto the road. She found a boy she liked and told him she loved him. They kissed on the road. They got into the helicopter together and even though there's a lot of danger ahead but their family will always be together